Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen in DaVinci Resolve 17 from the color page. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now and there is few ways to remove a green screen. You can do it from the edit page, now with DaVinci Resolve 17, that wasn't the case with 16, but you can do it now with um, OpenFX. Uh, you can do it from the Fusion page, which is the technique that I will recommend you to do 99% uh, of the time, and there is also from the color page. Um, so I'm gonna show you quickly how you can do it from the color page, but big disclaimer, uh, basically, don't do it from the color page. Go directly over to Fusion and do it from the Fusion page uh, because there is a lot of downside. It's harder, in my opinion, to do it from the color page. You have less flexibility, less control. It's just not the best way if there is uh, quite bad feathering around the hair most of the time. Uh, it's okay if you have a subject with clean edges, but to be honest, don't bother with doing it from the color page. Do it from the Fusion page. I have a tutorial uh, about that. I'll link it in the description if you want to learn how to do it there. But quickly, let's check it out how to do it from the color page if for some reason you have to or you need to do it uh, right there. So first off, we're going to right click there on the node uh, panel and we're going to add alpha output that's just going to bring that blue dot right here. So you're going to connect your alpha output. So you're going to be able to see what you're doing. And here we're just going to go over to the qualifier. We're going to select the picker and here we're going to select the green background. We got a pretty good selection of the background. I think let's try to select as much as possible. I think it's as good as it gets right now. Right now, as you can see, it's masking our subject and not the green screen. So we're just going to go down there and invert. So we got our selection. It's okay, so right, but as you can see, there is still some green right there. There is green all around here. So what we're gonna do is here in our in out ratio, we're gonna go down to minus 100 and that's gonna take care of um, some of it. There is still, as you can see, a lot of green around her, but it has already done a pretty good job at uh, removing some of it. So here we're gonna adjust a bit the blur radius to have something a bit cleaner. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Let's check. Let's try to add a tiny bit more. And yeah, let's add some feathering. So we're gonna go over to that and we're gonna add some feathering. Let's see how it works to try to separate a bit over there. Yes, it seems to work properly. Okay, but as you can see here, our edges are just a bit messed up. Like it doesn't look really clean. That would not have been the case in Fusion. That's why I would recommend you to go to Fusion and not to the cold page um, because I think it's a bit more clean and it struggle a bit less to remove it. Let's check. So we got a pretty good result. We got something that looks okay, but here, as you can see, the feathering in the hair is not that good. Um, it's struggling quite a lot. There is still quite a lot of green. Uh, that's exactly why I recommend you to go over to Fusion and not over to the color page. But that's basically how you do it if you have to do it from the color page. I hope that was useful. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.